In this lesson, we'll learn how to determine the probability of a certain eye color that appears in fruit flies. The question reads, in fruit flies, namely Drosophila melanogaster, the most common eye color is red. A mutation or allele of the gene for eye color produces white eyes. The gene is located on the X chromosome. This means that for fruit flies, eye color is a sex-linked trait. Part A asks, what is the probability that a heterozygous red-eyed fruit fly mated with a white-eyed male will produce any white-eyed offspring? Let's begin by writing out the genotype of a red-eyed female. We're being told that it's heterozygous, and females have two X chromosomes. Given that it is heterozygous, it will have one allele that represents red color and one allele that represents white color. Let's represent the dominant allele as W plus and the recessive allele as W. You could also represent it as capital R and little r or any other combination of letters. It's up to you. Now, we haven't been told directly which allele is dominant over the other. But what we do know from reading the question is that if a fly is heterozygous, meaning it has inherited one of each allele, then it has red eyes. From this, we can make the determination that the allele for white eyes is recessive to the red eye allele, and that the only way for a female to have white eyes is if it inherited the white eye allele from both parents. So the genotype for this female is W plus and W. Now, given what we just spoke about, the male will have the X and Y chromosome. And because it has white eyes, the allele that it would have associated with its X chromosome would be W, without the plus. So let's go ahead and cross these. Let's see what happens. We have an XX X for these two. And in that case, we would have W plus and W. We would have another female, XX, X, where both of them are little w. We would also have two males, the first one having this genotype, where we have W plus on its X, and the other male would be XY with W, without the plus. This is heterozygous, so this would be red, this one. Here we have two W's without the pluses. This would definitely be white eyes, white eye female. And that's expected when dealing with homozygous recessive genotypes. This would be a male with red eyes. And over here, we would have a male with white eyes. Let's look back at the question and answer it thoroughly. What is the probability that a heterozygous red-eyed female fruit fly mated with a white-eyed male will produce any white-eyed offspring? Well, there is a two and four chance, and reducing that makes it half. So the probability is 50%. In question B, what is the probability that the mating in part A will produce any white-eyed females? So we already know that two out of the four potential offspring would be female. And of those two, half of them will have white eyes. So what they're asking us in this question is, how many of those females will have white eyes? And that's a one in two chance. Similarly, for question C, what is the probability that this mating will produce any white-eyed males? There's a one in two chance that the offspring will be male. And of those males, half of them, again, will have white eyes. And there you have it. That is how to determine the genotype of offspring when dealing with sex-linked genes and the X chromosome.